Frequency, brought to you by Fiona B and the Plume Effect. The biggest highlight of my career is uh, just having the opportunity to build relationships with a lot of the artists that I grew up listening to. Uh, I've written songs with some of them, and I've had the opportunity to share the stage with some of the best in the music business, and I think all of it together is, is monumental. I can't really put my finger on one single thing. It's been really great to just develop a relationship with some really great artists to be able to call them my friends. If I could tour with anyone who wants to understand, uh, I think we'll choose Sam Cooke uh, and or Ray Charles. And I choose them because they are the innovators who created soul blending uh, gospel, traditional gospel and R&B music, creating a new subgenre that uh, I think is probably the most passionate uh, expression of the voice in all of the musical world. So I definitely would choose Sam Cooke and Ray Charles. There are quite a few new artists these days that I'm really enjoying. Uh, those who know me know that I'm partial to independent music. Accordingly, artists that I'm going to name are independent, but uh, of course there's the MC Derek 320 was one of my favorites. Um, also a lovely singer who's based out of New York by the name of Colette. Uh, she's, she's awesome. I enjoy her. Uh, also really enjoy Jesse Boyfriends. Uh, and Little Dragon is also one of my favorite uh, new groups. So those are just a few of the new artists that I'm really into these days. There's a lot that inspires me. Um, it could be as simple as a breeze. Uh, it could be someone I see. It could be a tune I hear. But the thing that inspires me most is the idea and the concept of love, not just in a romantic context, but also in a larger context as far as um, interaction between human beings and positive interaction and, and, and the power of love to unite us and propel us toward greater ends. I think love is uh, my greatest inspiration and those who listen to my music will, will find that that's what I sing most about. But the mistake a lot of folks make is they think that it's just about love and relationships uh, and a romantic contact, but it's actually about love that endures, love of all kinds. That's what inspires me. When I think of the word lens, I think of oh, my glasses. Why? Because without them I can't see. I'm actually legally blind. So uh, when you see me without my glasses, nine times out of ten, unless I have contacts on, I can't see. <laughs> so that's what I think of when I think of lenses. If I could sing in any other language, I'd have to choose French. There's something about the way that language seems to roll off the tongue. I hope somebody out there can teach me how to speak. <laughs> if I had a million dollars in cash, I can guarantee you most of it will wind up at uh, my school for the arts and humanities. Richmond Preparatory and Christian Academy. Um, my family started this business back in 1983, and a couple years ago, I took over, and it is my school. And I take great pride in what we do there in educating young people and teaching them to express themselves and use their art not only to to express but also to improve uh, the world around them and improve their own lives. So if I had a million dollars, 95% of it would go there. And the other 5% would probably wind up being spent on Apple products. If I had the benefit of traveling back in time to a different era, I'm kind of torn between the two periods I would choose. Either I would choose the 1850s, or the 1950s. These two periods represent two of the most uh, most important 
uh, political changes in this country with regards to civil rights. Uh, if I lived in the 1850s, you'd find me conversing with the great orators and abolitionists, Frederick Douglass. And if you found me in the 1950s, you'd find me sitting alongside Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X, discovering and discussing issues of freedom and uh, moving African American people forward. If my life were a movie, it'd have to be entitled Last Stand of the Hopeless Romantic. Deep down inside, I'm a love obsessed man. I believe in love, I believe in its power to transform us, and I believe in its ability to transform society. And uh, that's what I'm all about. And even when things seem like love can't get through, you'll find me there making music, making art, and doing my best to make sure that love can permeate. I believe love conquers all. So the name of my memoir slash documentary movie is John Bibbs, Last Stand of the Hopeless Romance. Stepping my yeah. bounds, but since you've been coming around.